Hi guys, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so today I'll be making these very cute and sweet heart cookies with you. We'll be making the butter cookies and roll icing in part 1, and for the next video I'll teach you how to decorate them. For these roll out butter cookies, you'll need unsalted butter, granulated sugar, egg, all-purpose flour, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Before you start, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Start off by putting your unsalted butter at room temperature in a bowl, and then just beat it for a few seconds. Now add in the granulated sugar and beat for a few minutes until the butter is very smooth and creamy. Add in your egg in one go, then just beat until it's incorporated. Now just mix your dry ingredients together, then add half of it into your mixture. Beat for a few minutes until there are no lumps of flour, then add in the remaining half. Your mixture might become a bit crumbly now, so scrape down the sides with a spatula, a wooden spoon, or with your hands. Sprinkle some flour on your working surface and over your dough as well. Dust your hands with flour and then form the dough into a disc. Dust your rolling pin with flour as well and then roll your dough out to one eighth of an inch thick. If you don't have a rolling pin, just take a glass bottle. Now we can finally cut out the cookies. Take your cookie cutters and dip them in flour. Remember to do this every time before you cut them out. Now press firmly into the dough. Gently move the cutter around to make sure that you have cut through all the way. Now just repeat. When you don't have any space left, remove and reuse your excess dough. Now transfer your cookies onto your baking sheet. You can either line your baking sheet with parchment paper or just use a plain baking sheet that's not greased. Pop your cookies into the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. Your cookies will be lightly golden brown and they will smell wonderful when they're done. Once your cookies are out of the oven, take a knife or fork and then carefully separate your heart puzzle cookies. Now place your cookies onto your cooling rack and let them cool completely. Meanwhile, we'll make the raw icing. You'll need icing sugar, marine powder, warm water, and food coloring. Raw icing is actually very easy to make. Simply put all the ingredients except the food coloring into a large bowl. Now 
beat the mixture on low for one minute. Make sure you start on low or else you'll be covered in icing sugar. Now turn your mixer up to medium and continue to beat for about 5 minutes. If you mix them by hand, it will take around 10 to 50 minutes. It depends how strong you are. Your mixture should become very white, fluffy and smooth. This is the consistency you want to get. Scrape down the sides and bottom to make sure everything is incorporated. Now divide your raw icing into three portions. Add food colouring to two of the portions. We will name these raw icing, raw icing A. Take a small round piping tip and fit it into a piping bag. Choose which colour you would want to write with, and in our case it's white, and then fill it into your piping bag. Now transfer one third of the other raw icing into your other two piping bags. Now tie a knot at the end of your piping bag so the raw icing won't come out when we're using it to pipe. Place your piping bags into an airtight container to prevent the raw icing from drying up. Now add an extra half a tablespoon of water to all three of your raw icings. We'll call this raw icing B. A little tip here for using piping bags. You can fit your piping bags over a mug or a glass so it's easier for you to fill them. Now transfer your raw icing into all your piping bags. Tie a knot at the end of the bag as we did with the previous ones. Now you want to make a small cut at the tip. As for raw icing A, that's the raw icing with less water in it, you want to make an even smaller cut. You should be able to pipe out the line that is this thin. Roll icing dries up very very quickly so always store them in an airtight container when you're not using them. That's it for this video, in part 2 I'll show you how to decorate the cookies. If you don't know where to get the ingredients and tools to make this cookie, you can check out Baker C's Valentine's Day baking set. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time, bye!